Hello everyone, my name is Aldas and in today's video I'm going to be talking about Formula 1's next generation of drivers. I'm going to be talking about some people that have already been in the sport for a couple of years and some that are hopefully going to be driving very very soon. Now don't forget if you like the content and subscribe and uh, don't forget to join the conversation as well with your opinions and comments about all of these drivers. But yeah, let's get into the video. So through the recent Formula 1 driver market craziness, there has been so much change in Formula 1 and so many big moves and so many moves for young talent and young drivers and loads of team bosses also pushing to get their talent into Formula 1. So I was just thinking about making a video about just a, you know a few of the drivers that are in Formula 1 and maybe coming up as well that we all know about and what I think of them and uh, where are they going to be in 10 years and who of them is the biggest talent in my opinion. But of course this is just my opinion and uh, I'm sure everyone else has a different opinion about their favourite drivers and that's absolutely fine. Now the first driver I'd like to talk about is Max Verstappen. Now I do still consider him to be the part of the next generation, although he is one of the one of the most experienced. Even it's weird actually, he's one of the most experienced drivers on the field now, or going to be in 2019, uh, having begun in 2015. So this will be his fourth season of Formula One in 2018, going into uh, his fifth, which is quite incredible because he was the youngest ever race winner, probably one of the youngest ever people to ever step into a Formula One car, uh, and we all know his talent. I still consider him to be part of the next generation. Uh, but he's just incredible. What can be said about Max Verstappen? His racing ability is endless. His uh, ability to uh, make passes, just like Daniel Ricciardo, he's right up there with Lewis Hamilton and Daniel Ricciardo for overtaking and having the nerve to pull out incredible moves. He's also a great qualifier, you know, hasn't had any pole positions yet, but his speed is undoubtable. Not quite the complete uh, finished product in my opinion, uh, especially this season we've already seen mistakes and we've seen a couple of rough areas with him, especially, you know, with the whole stewards thing and uh, getting uh, penalised for things and, you know, all the crashes at the start of the season. So not the finished package as of yet, but he's still young and we, we all know that he'll be hopefully winning championships in the future and I definitely think he will. He's got the speed, he's got the ability, he just needs to get the maturity and be the, you know, finished package that a driver like uh, Lewis Hamilton or Fernando Alonso uh, are that, and ready to win championships. But yeah, massively uh, excited for Max Verstappen to see what he can do in the next 10 years because we already know he is a definite race winner and definitely got championships in the future now as far as what teams he could race for in the future of course these are all just guesses for me uh, as to where they could be but I do see him for some reason going to Ferrari in the future he just seems to have the passion and the flair and everything like that that a Ferrari driver uh, that a Ferrari driver would have and I just don't know why I just have a feeling that he could be a Ferrari driver in the future so we'll have to wait and see. Of course, he's tied, tied down to Red Bull for the next couple of years until 2021. Now, the next driver I'd like to talk about is Pierre Gasly, uh, who is, of course, going to be Max Verstappen's teammate in 2019. Now, he's definitely he's definitely been around the Formula 1 paddock for a while. He was the uh, 2016 GP2 champion and then did a bit of racing in Japan as well and also did a bit of Formula E at one point as well and finally got the step up to Toro Rosso. And in my opinion, he's proven himself 110% this season with some incredible performances, maybe not quite the consistency that he would like but he's had these sort of standout performances that have just been amazing really you know we all remember the Bahrain Hungary just races like that where he really pulled the car really pulled the weekend together and got a huge amount of points you know way more than his teammate Brendan Hartley and yeah just an incredible driver really one for the future very very happy to see him step up into the Red Bull and as far as him in the future I just I'm really looking forward to seeing his development you know don't forget this is he's only half a year through Formula One and he's already been bumped up to the top of the top of the rostrum to Red Bull just like Max Verstappen was so I think we really will see him grow next year and that is when I think we'll be see if he's if he will be able to challenge Max Verstappen for championships I think he will I think he's quick enough and massively massively excited to see him and Max Verstappen next year I think it'll be a lot closer than people think because I do rate Pierre Gasly quite high but we all know but we all know the speed of Max Verstappen let's be honest so great young lineup for Red Bull next year massively massively excited to see what's going to happen with them now next is going to be Esteban Ocon, perhaps one of the uh, one of the more unlucky drivers this season who doesn't seem to be able to find a seat for next uh, for next year due to many different reasons. And I'll uh, get I'll definitely talk, be talking about them in the in another video. But for in this video, I just like to talk about Esteban Ocon himself and how I think he is. He is just one of the best midfield drivers, so consistent, managing to stay with Perez, who I rate very very highly. And he's just done the business in the last two years. What I really like about him, uh, and what I said a little bit different to Max Verstappen, he seems to have a very mature and very calm head uh, right from the get-go. 
He doesn't seem to have a massive ego and just so mature, so quick, uh, is able to deliver results, deliver points. He had a fantastic uh, qualifying in Belgium and then managed to convert that into a very good uh, uh, points paying position. So he definitely seems like, you know, I don't think he's the finished product by any means necessary, but he's very, very close. He's a very quick racing driver and just seems to have... Uh, the composure that you need in Formula 1 to say the right stuff, to do the right things, to motivate the team. And I think it's shocking that he hasn't got a seat in, in next year. He is, you know, definitely, he's in the Mercedes Pro Junior Program and is hailed by Toto Wolff as a future Mercedes race winner and world champion. So I don't think he has any trouble. I think Toto is 110% behind uh, Ocon, but he might need to take a year out or two. But definitely I see him uh, being in the Mercedes for a long, long time in the future after Lewis Hamilton retires, hopefully. Now, next is a driver that we have all heard over the past couple of years as one of the biggest talents in Formula 1, and very rightly so. He has been given the biggest seat in Formula 1 with the biggest pressure and the most famous car it is, of course, Charles Leclerc. And what can you say about this man that he that has not really been said? Whenever he's in a championship, he delivers. You know, he delivered in his GP2 season uh, emphatically, got the driver, uh, got the move up to Sauber, which it was absolutely deserved. And again, he has delivered this season with incredible performances and at such a young age as well. And just like uh, Esteban Ocon, just like I said about Esteban Ocon, he is very composed. He's very calm. He seems to me almost a complete package. Of course, there's been a couple of rough edges, been a couple of uh, mistakes in his rookie season, but you'd expect that. He's been very competitive at the start of his career against Marcus Ericsson, and since about Azerbaijan has been absolutely rinsing him. He's scored fantastic points, had some ridiculous qualifyings. I mean, be qualifying behind a Ferrari in France, that definitely got a couple of people looking, and strong finishes in a car that sometimes struggles to keep up with the midfield despite the uh, upgraded Ferrari engine and the development that Sauber have made. You know, the car is not the quickest in, of the midfield by any means necessary, and Charles Glock just delivered these results, and of course is moving up to Ferrari next year. I think this could be very exciting. I rate him as one of their best talents, if not the best, up there with Max Verstappen. And I think people shouldn't be worried at all. I think Vettel should be worried because in my opinion and my prediction is, is that Vettel is going to, he's going to find out a challenge with Charles Leclerc. Charles is young, he's quick and he is so hungry for championships and just being given that Ferrari for next year, I think people should watch out for him because I think he could be a championship contender. But you know, that's just my opinion. Charles Leclerc, absolutely incredible driver for sure could be a very very long and very loyal driver for Ferrari like Schumacher was like Alonso was for you know almost half a decade because uh, he does you know he, he's grown up around the brand and of course he's the junior driver for them so I see his future in Ferrari for a very long time uh, being given that car at such a young age and just watch him win races in my opinion I think he's got definite championships in the future and uh, yeah now that's obviously the f current Formula One crop, but what about the drivers who are coming up or who sh or who are going to start in Formula One very very soon? Now the two that obviously stand out are George Russell and Lando Norris. Now I'll talk about uh, George Russell first. He is currently leading the GP2 champion uh, championship. He's of course a Mercedes junior driver linked with Williams and hopefully a drive for 2019 and a very very uh, very very good driver. You know people always talk about Lando Norris, but in my opinion, I, I rate George Russell especially this season even more. He has had five wins instead of uh, Lando Norris's one and he is currently leading the championship with very very uh, good consistency and some good uh, qualifyings as well and I think he's just in a very good place at the moment he, again he seems very calm he seems very he just seems ready for Formula One you know whether he actually is is a whole completely different question but his association with Mercedes is very very good he's always seen there at the, at the paddock and definitely a future Mercedes driver if he can get a seat I think he is very very impressive and again a, a great British talent that I can't wait to see in the future. And of course, finally, we have Lando Norris, who is being confirmed as a McLaren uh, driver for next season with Carlos Sainz. Now, what you know, we already know about Lando. He's been talked about very, very heavily compared to Lewis Hamilton, you know, joining McLaren. And can he can he be the next British uh, sort of superstar? I think there's very early, very early to say, but he definitely has the speed. If you just watch him, McLaren will clearly impress with the tests that he's done and uh, just wanted to snatch him up. And it wasn't just McLaren that wanted to snatch him up. Red Bull even wanted to try and put him in a Toro Rosso. So clearly people see a very good uh, driver, as, as do I. You know, he's again, he's just so calm. He's just, when you see him in interviews, 
he's he's just does not have an ego he's just so so calm and a, a great driver as well that we've seen fantastic racing between him and george russell and it's absolutely and it's going to be really tough to see who's going to win the gp2 championship this year it is just backwards and forwards between them but very very exciting to watch and two fantastic british talents uh, hopefully coming up to formula one very very soon i think they're neck and neck in my opinion i rate russell just a little bit better i think he's a little bit more consistent but they're, you know, we're talking fractions here. And when you get to Formula 1, you never know if you'll be able to deliver or not. But that's just my thoughts on the current crop of next generation drivers. But there's loads that I haven't mentioned. Carlos Sainz, uh, Lance Stroll are just two of the drivers that I can think of in Formula 1, let alone GP2. People like Jack Aiken and Albon, of course. Uh, but who do you guys think? I really want to know in the comments, who do you think are the next generation of drivers and the drivers that I've mentioned in 10 years time? So 2028, who will be the most successful at the time? Who will make the right decisions and be the quickest to, and win championships? Who do you think is the best of the next generation drivers? Don't forget to pop your comments in the box below. And thank you very much for watching. And uh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe if you like the content. And uh, yeah.